I missed you guys. As you guys know, I've been um, away. I was in San Francisco for Gen Beauty, so I hope you guys enjoyed my pre-filmed videos. But I am finally back, and uh, I'm really excited because I haven't done like a haul type of video for so long. So um, first things first, if you're brand spanking new to my channel, and you like beauty videos and you kind of think I'm cool or whatever go ahead and subscribe I do upload three times a week Mondays Wednesdays and Fridays at the same time 9 a.m. Pacific Standard Time so go ahead and subscribe and click that notification bell if uh, that sounds like something you're into so first things first let me show you how much shit I've got okay so this gigantic bag here I can't even like keep it in frame, but I'll sit it right down here in front of me. This gigantic bag in my lap is full of goodies from Gen Beauty. Now, if you are a member of Ipsy OS, which is Ipsy Open Studios, and you get invited to their creator cocktail party, then usually, you know, um, a bunch of the brands who go to Gen Beauty will contribute and you'll get a nice goodie bag to try out and, you know, just have fun with uh, for us makeup lovers that sounds like heaven doesn't it <laughs> so I'm probably going to split this video into two parts because not only do I have this big bag here I also have two or three smaller bags as well so okay I'm not gonna ramble too much uh, let's go ahead and get into this give this a thumbs up if you're feeling it and let's go so the first item is this I actually purchased it myself this is part of the skinny dip collection as you can see I've opened it already <laughs> it's from Jue and when I pop this out here this is their highlighter it's called tan lines now I've got to let you guys know, originally, when I looked at their collection, I was like, uh, this doesn't seem like it's brown girl friendly, but look at this highlight. Like, bling! Okay? I'm just telling you, this is tan line, so don't be fooled by this. I know it probably doesn't look very appealing straight up in the pan, but it swatches so beautifully. It just gives, ah, uh, that smooth glow, that's, mmm tasty, delicious, melanin goddess vibes, you know? And uh, for the rest of the summer, who doesn't want to look like that? So if you guys want me to do an in-depth review on any of this stuff, this or the other stuff, let me know. And also, ooh, okay, this is what we can do. So those of you guys that want me to do a review on a specific item, also put in the comments. The rest of you guys, you know, as you're going down to put your ideas, just casually browse through the comments and upvote any ideas that you like. And then of course, if you don't see your idea, then comment it. But that's what we'll do. So that way I know what you guys want to see the most. You know what I mean? Just just one last look at it. I mean, ugh, ugh, gorgeous. Okay, next up is this little brush kit from Royal and Langnickel. You've probably seen this brand at Walmart or, you know, any drugstore brand. This is a face set, so you've got a stippling brush, you've got a concealer brush, and also, like, a powder brush here. Um, and it's got a little description on the back. Honestly, I've got a ton of brushes, so I'll probably be giving this away. Um, some items in here I have duplicates of, so of course you guys will know when I do a giveaway, but just letting you know. Next up, this is the Purifying Charcoal, Purifying Black Charcoal Mask. And this is from a brand, oh, can't even speak. <laughs> It's from a brand called Sue A.E. and they do a lot of really great uh, charcoal masks. I got a chance to talk to one of their like PR people and he was like breaking down all the masks for me. So um, I, I probably will talk about them at some point on my channel but this is really really cool. Um, it's supposed to hydrate and moisturize your face and it's got charcoal. You guys know that's anti-inflammatory and kind of like clears out your pores as well and it brightens the skin and it's like your typical you know uh, sheet mask but I've heard really great things about this brand so I can't wait Ooh, so next up is like an Instagram favorite here I've seen this all over Instagram it's from a brand called double dare it's their two-in-one uh, kit 
Detox Bubbling Microfiber Mask. So on one side you can see here is the mask, this side is where it like kind of like bubbles up and it looks like it's like really interesting so I might have to try this on my Instagram or maybe on my YouTube channel. You guys let me know what you want to see but this is fun. I love sheet masks really like I can never have enough. Um, they just keep your skin looking right. So ooh okay. This here is from the brand called Trestique. I have a like a balm kind of highlight that I really really like from them. And it's a magic mattifying balm and blotting sheet duo. So if we take it out here, honestly guys I already used the uh, mattifying stick side because I was in SF and I was in a bind so this is what it looks like here it's like a peachy color and it just goes on your skin and it's super smooth super translucent and literally when you feel it it's like it's dry it's dry there's nothing so if you're really oily check this out uh, the magic mattifying balm and blotting sheet duo from Trestique now let's check out this other side ooh ooh okay <laughs> I'm so excited. So, okay, I love it's, that it's got this like magnetic type of click thing. Okay, just watch. Did you hear it? The click? It clicked into place. I love it. Okay, so on the bottom, this is interesting here. What is this? <gasps> Ooh, so I don't want to waste this, but basically you can open this and little blotting papers come out. <gasps> How cool is this? So if you're really, really oily, you could just like put this in your purse. And if you need to do like a touch up midday or something, you can just pull your little blotting sheet out. That's so freaking cute. We should do like a review or a first impression on this, right? Like, or I should do it and you guys should watch. That's what I'm trying to say. <laughs> watch <out>. So <laughs> now this I've got from Shea Moisture is their Argan Oil and Almond Milk Smooth and Tame Blowout cream and it seemed like it's you know a really nice thick consistency but hey listen so it improves styling control and speed it's for fine frizzy straight and wavy hair look we all know that there's some stuff going on with shame waster my only thing is I don't have fine frizzy straight or wavy hair I have very thick natural hair and I don't even use heat on it anymore so I don't know I'm gonna have to give this away maybe in the giveaway pile eh well let me tell you if it smells good at least oh I can't there's a seal so somebody will enjoy that definitely next up this is from the brand skin fix and ooh, okay so I love skin fix they sent me some of their lip balms like a while ago and they're so good and this is their eczema balm I don't have eczema um, but I think that this is probably going to be really helpful I do use their like tattoo cream to keep your tattoo moisturized and that's really good too this one has colloidal oatmeal 2% which is a skin protective so it's a concentrated natural balm targets and treats stubborn eczema dermatitis and dry skin patches all over your body so uh, if you got really ashy elbows or knees maybe this will work for you too <laughs> Okay, right here, this is a, another hair product. This is the Eva NYC Freshen Up Dry Shampoo. Looks super, super cute, but realistically, guys, I mean, come on, my hair is already dry. I don't need dry shampoo. So I'll definitely be giving this one away. Right here, this is from the brand Rimmel London, and it's their Clump Free Volume Mascara. So you can shake it, fresh so you shake it you know like normal and it's supposed to reinvigorate the mascara which is really interesting we definitely got to do some type of video on this to test this out it's piquing my interest now this here ooh, this is from M cosmetics at Gen Beauty you guys know Michelle Fawn is like the big you know um, face behind Ipsy and Ipsy OS and her brand, M Cosmetics, was there, and I just like love the whole aesthetic that she's got going on. And this is their long wearing lip cream, and this is in the shade, ooh, vintage rosewood. Actually, I'm so glad because I went out to the booth, you know, <clears throat> 
and they were telling me that Vintage Rosewood is just launching and I almost bought it but I didn't know it was in my creator bag. This is like every beautiful mauve tone that I've ever owned like all into one and I really like the formula it's super creamy I know you guys are gonna want me to swatch it so I'll go ahead and do it but um that's what it looks like so I mean the formula it's gorgeous I mean hello beautiful the formula is super like creamy kind of like non-drying and it's definitely a satin finish not a super super like ultra matte so if you're somebody who has just like dry lips and you don't like really really matte stuff then you're really gonna like the formula of um m cosmetics like lip products dun dun dun, dun. <laughs> so i'm not even gonna lie with you guys i've already played with this product here. This is from Tarte. It's their Rainforest of the Sea Volume 2 eyeshadow palette. And I've always seen these um, at Sephora and I've been like, oh, like what's so special about that? Like why, why would I even bother? But the formula of these shades is absolutely to die for. I know, right now you're looking at it and you're like, uh, it's not that much, or there's just nothing that appealing about it, right? Well, you're wrong. Okay, let me just swatch some of these shades. Ugh, they're just like, actually, you know what, I'm not even gonna swatch it. You know why? Because I'm not gonna do it justice. Like, it's just so creamy, and I think that if you're somebody who loves, like, everyday kind of products, you're gonna love this so much. It's just like if I was the kind of person who was like a secretary and like had that like office job or something like that, this is like the palette that I would pick every day to wear. And look, it's even got like a nice little blue for you, you know, if you wanna spice it up on Fridays. You know, for those people who aren't allowed to wear makeup that's like too loud on the face, but you still wanna look beautiful, like, Ugh, this is totally my everyday palette. So next here we have from Pixi their Sun Serum with Soybean and Sodium Hyaluronate. Now, uh, I see that it does have SPF in it, but unfortunately, I will not be using this little guy because it's got avobenzone, octinosate, oxysalate, and oxybenzone. And I have really sensitive skin. I'm already recovering from a skin allergy, whatever, that happened in SF. So I don't want to piss my skin off anymore. Um, which sucks because I love Pixie products. But um, maybe this will be nice for one of you guys in a, in a nice little giveaway. Okay, next, this is from MAC. MAC was there, which was such a nice surprise. And they've got this cute little bag. Let's see if anything's inside. I love little bags like this because they're perfect for traveling. Okay, so there's oh, a MAC Lip Tensity Lipstick. There is a, ah, a lip pencil. I love MAC lip pencils. This is in Subculture. There is the MAC Prep and Prime Lip Base. And then this is just a little like sharpener thing from MAC. We gotta swatch, we gotta swatch. Okay, so I brought you guys just a little bit closer so you could see these swatches on here. So they are light. So this is uh, the color Doe. This is the lip tensity and um, let's see. This here subculture is right here, but you know what? I could wear this, shoot, let me mix it with some brown and I'll be rocking it. I ain't giving up no MAC. Nope, I'm making it work because y'all know MAC is not cheap. This is also their Prep and Prime Lip Base. So, oh cool. So it's just like, it looks like maybe it's a moisturizing stick. Um, I'm not quite sure there aren't any directions, but if you guys know how to use this or what the actual functions of it are, please let me know down in the comments. Okay, so Luxie 
also sent this cute little travel bag. It's super cute and it's big. Like you could fit hella makeup in here, which is uh, what somebody like me needs because Lord knows I've got like, I just overpack, you know, when I bring makeup, like it's too much. <laughs> Next, I've got some goodies from Physicians Formula. I'm really interested to see what they sent. This is, oh, how cool. They sent a multi-finish eyeshadow. You guys can see here, there's like different colors. It's kind of like a cool little like shimmer brick kind of thing going on. And then they also sent the Glide On Eye Gel Eyeliner. And it's supposed to be easy to use, um, creamy, cushiony, delivers powerful yet vibrant color. All right, I'm digging it. Next up is a little goodie bag here from Pure Elise. I've tried their cleanser before and it was so good, so I wonder what this is. Ooh, this is their Blue Lotus Seed Mud uh, Mask and Exfoliant. I'm really interested. I didn't even know that they had mud masks. Oh, look at the packaging, you guys. It's so cute. It's like a 10 minute facial. That's what it says on the box or the bottle and it gently resurfaces, detoxifies, brightens, tightens, smooths and uh, that's just all. I'm feeling all of those. I want it all. <laughs> da, da, da. Uh, so this is the Tarte Tarteiste Pro Glow. Um, if you guys don't know what it actually looks like, hold on let me show you because I actually have my own that I bought last year because they did send me like well, they did give me like two of these, so I'll be giving them away just because I'm only one person. How much makeup can I wear, you know? Okay, so this is what my janky palette looks like. <laughs> and when you open it up, it's like the packaging is gorgeous, obviously. You've got mirrors that you can use, and I actually really like all of these highlights, but I mean, there's just no way I can use all of these. Uh, the actual contour sculpt shades is only really going to work if you're like fair. They didn't work for me at all, obviously, because I'm not fair. Um, so I ignored those, but these four are all each very beautiful, very like bling kind of highlight, you know? Ooh, so this is from Pop Beauty. And let me go ahead and open this up. So excited about this. So this is a really cute, like, colorful eyeshadow palette. And let me just, like, swatch a couple colors. Ah, this orange. They do seem to be, like, really powdery. But I'm feeling it, like, the pigments are there. I'm definitely interested enough to do a video on it, so, hey. Uh, but, oh, one last look. It does come with a little brush, just so that you guys know, but it's like a little cheapy brush, so <laughs> don't worry about it. But aren't these cute? Ooh, so cute. Okay, moving right along. We've got, oh, from Ciate, their Wonder Wand. So it's their Fearless 3D Volume Length and Curls Mascara. Um, pretty cool. You guys know I'm in love with the L'Oreal Mascara, but I'm always down to try something new. Let's see what it looks like. I do like the packaging, though. Oh, look at this. I love this. It's actually, like, kind of a heavier mascara. Like, it's got some weight in it um for sure and the actual wand looks really nice like it's probably gonna define your lashes so can't wait to try that out and next up we've got the bomb nude tude palette i actually have this palette and i love it it's another really great one if you're somebody that just like needs like that work appropriate palette this is for sure it um super 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 pretty i'm probably going to be giving this one away as well just because you know why have duplicates but um i definitely highly recommend you guys check this palette out next time you're in you know kohl's or ulta or whatever Ooh, 
Ooh, so these are goodies from the brand Nude Sticks, and I know that they are available in Sephora now, and I love this brand because all of their products are like multi-use. They have this really beautiful like chocolate brown eye color stick, but I actually use it as a lipstick, and then I put lip gloss over it. That's what I'm wearing today. So you know I'm like really excited to see what else they have in store. Oh, how cute! So when you open this up, they've got like a cute mirror here. I'm trying to like show you guys without blinding you and they've got a little description here I think this is the one with their oh where they like partnered up with like five bloggers so you've got like if I can show you guys this all of these super 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 cute colors uh, I can't wait like I want to put these to use they are so freaking cute and I love that you've got like this little case and the mirror so you can just like carry it around with you it's not gonna like bust open this is like a secure case um, I think they did a great job I'm really looking forward to checking this out some more next up this is from a brand called Miss Popular either that or oh no 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 <laughs> sparkle so this is a lip paint and effects and it, the actual color is called Miss Popular. So let's open it up here. It does say it's supposed to be smudge proof and it dries down matte, which is really, really nice. Oh, this is like a little like glitter kit. And then here's the, ooh, oh my goodness, the lipstick. Girl, that's a loud color. You know, I don't know if I could wear this one. I might give it away because, I mean, look, these big old lips, like, it's just, it's too much, you know? It brings too many boys to the yard, so I want to give this away to somebody who will use it. Next up here, ooh, this is from the brand 12 Benefits. It's, uh, basically... I was like really touched. I met the owner at Gen Beauty and she is just, you know, the company is black owned and she was just so inspiring and to hear the story of how she started her business and how she was just like so happy to come. She's a very small brand, but to come to Gen Beauty and see so many people excited about her brand and they were actually like pressing some hair at the booth and I was like, okay, your products must be really good if you're sitting there pressing some natural hair. So, uh, yeah, but this is their instant healthy hair treatment. It seals color, smooth as frizz. Honestly, there's like a whole long list here. Um, you can mist hair before blow drying or swimming. Do not rinse. So basically a spray-in, leave-in treatment. I love that you can use this before swimming. Like that is a major, major, major key. Next up, this is from a brand, oh, the brand called Impressions. Um, if you guys have seen them on Instagram, they're like Impressions Vanity or something. And they make all of those cute little vanities. Um, and this is just like, it seems like a cute little compact and it says just slay, which is, huh, hello, what I intend on doing. And when you open it up, if I can open it here, it's just got like, let me see if I cannot blind you guys. You can see there, there's just two mirrors here. Um, super cute. I mean, who doesn't need to touch up and stuff? Like how compact and like sturdy it is. It doesn't feel cheap. It's nice. We still got so much stuff, you guys. Woo. Okay, moving right along, the brand Koki, they uh, have a little nail polish for us to see. And this is like a really light feminine color. I'm digging it. Next time I get my nails done, I'll bring this with me. Ooh, this is from a brand called Dirty Little Secret. And let's see. It doesn't really say what it is. Oh, <laughs> lip gloss in the color Rose Petal. So it's definitely going to be pinky. Let's see how pink. Ooh, it's very pink. <laughs> you guys, I typically don't wear bright ass colors because just like you know I've already got those big lips like I said it brings too many boys to the yard but this will definitely be going in the giveaway pile or to my sister maybe if she wants it next up is the Derma E radiant face oil and oh 
This is their collaboration with Sunkissed Alba, and I'm really, really excited for this because, guys, like, Sunkissed Alba actually helped them formulate this. So she went to their manufacturing, um, whatever, the place where they manufacture their stuff. She helped to formulate it, and this is kind of like her little baby, so it's a face oil that's supposed to obviously make your face glow but it's got Yehoba, Argan, Sea Buckthorn oils and uh like so they do say shake well I love it like look how much oil this is this is two fluid ounces guys two fluid ounces usually companies are cheap and they only give you one fluid ounce so I'm really excited let me just test this out two drops let me see uh, and it, there's a smell, but it's very subtle. Oh my goodness, it's so soft. Yes. Uh, I don't know, can you guys even see the little glow on my hand? Maybe if I put it up next to this one that doesn't glow. <laughs> but I can see it, and it makes the skin feel so soft, hydrated. Uh, I can't wait. Um, I didn't even know this was going to be in there. That's cool. Go Sunkiss Alba. She was like one of the OG girls that I watched like back in the day. Da -da -da. Oh, I actually pulled out two products. Uh, okay, let's go with this first one. Uh, this is from Pure Cosmetics. It's their lip liner, their On Point lip liner. And I'm guessing On Point is the color. Because, oh, okay, Vamp. That's the color. Let's do a little swatchy swatch. Ooh, first off, I really like the packaging. You don't see stuff like this. Is it not open? Oh, you twist it. Oh, it looks really smooth, too. Let me. It is smooth. So it's basically like a dark reddish kind of color. And it goes on really smooth, which is nice because somebody like me, I've got big lips, like, I can't be fighting with lip liners. Like, they just need to go on smooth, you know? Like, I don't have time. And it's kind of painful, too, sometimes. The cool thing here is you can actually sharpen your liner by um, twisting it the opposite way. So, hey, I'm all down with that. Ooh, okay, so this is exciting. This is from the brand, I think it's Absolute New York. God, I don't even think they wrote it. Oh, here it is. <laughs> the writing's on there, but it's super small. Absolute New York, and it's their Cotton Candy Liner in Jelly Bean. Ooh. So, I did stop by their booth, and I can't remember what they were saying about it. Like, I think these are just eyeliners. So, give me a second. Let me just open this. Okay, so I got it out of the packaging. Took quite some effort. Uh... Oh, okay, I see. So this is the brush side. So basically this is just like color type of liners if you want to get your Instagram on, you know, get fancy. I don't even know if you guys can see that. But basically it's a baby blue kind of liner. They also, this is kind of fun, have little like, uh, do you guys remember? back in the day when they had the like actual like phone cords that would like spiral like the spiral ones they have these kind of like hair ties that look like that so they say that it's supposed to avoid breakage but oh my goodness this is cute guys but somebody like me look at my giant bun like this is my hair will laugh at this so it's cute, they've got an assortment of colors, but I will probably be giving these away. Da da da! Ooh, okay, so I already kind of cheated and I like swatched this. This is from Ofra. I'm really excited. I almost didn't even tell you guys what it was. This is their highlight in the shade Bali. You guys, it is amazing. It is so beautiful. Let me see if I can find myself a brush. First of all, can you guys even tell, like, it's just got this beautiful, like, golden, like, pearlized kind of, like, finish going on. And when you swatch it on the skin, it's just beautiful. It's a very, very, like, let me put this down. It's got that like yellow golden kind of tint to it, but it's perfect for this time of year in the summertime. Ooh, and when you blend it out, honey, it is just 
stunning see it blended out like butter like you almost can't even like tell when I had that harsh line it's just that like fine glow oh it's it's just it's everything I'm feeling and more Ooh, this next one he has kind of fancy what is this oh okay <laughs> it's from NYX which uh, I ain't mad at at all and this is their faux white liner and it looks like it's kind of like a pink okay the shade is called linen so it's a liner that's kind of like pinkish and when you open this here <gasps> I love NYX palettes like okay I love their ultimate collection I recently got the brights palette if you guys love bright colors girl girl go to Target and get you some it is so pigmented I just can't even say enough good things but I didn't even know that they had an electric palette like <laughs> we gotta open this up what? oh wow look at it oh I don't even think the camera is doing it justice I'm sure I'll be doing something I'll be doing some kind of a review with this because I'm just like in love at first in love at first sight it's like there's these foiled kind of shimmers there are these like satiny kind of same colors here and then these under here are matte and they are all gorgeous like all I want to do this summer is put color on my eyes <laughs> so yay that was a really nice surprise I love me some NYX so I've been kind of saving these goodies because I'm really excited about them and I wanted to kind of like wait till the end to swatch them well not the end end but you know um so these are the Jouer lip toppers and they have five of them so let's see the colors we've got uh, Liche Skinny Dip, Noisette, Pomplemousse, and Fraise Bonbon. Okay, so let me go ahead. I'm gonna just like take these out. I'm gonna swatch them for you guys and then we could chat a little bit about them. Okay, guys, so here are the swatches. And the top, the red one, is called Fraise Bonbon. Underneath, we've got Pomplemousse, which is the second one there. Then Noisette, and then Skinny Dip, which is the lip topper. So Skinny Dip is not supposed to be really opaque. It's just supposed to kind of have that peak of the base color that you're wearing underneath. But, I mean, come on. Like, I don't even know if you guys are seeing this properly. Like, they are just so so beautiful. And I'll do some, like, close-ups and stuff when I do reviews on them, but damn like the lipstick is actually creamy moving on we've got the brand note and what do they have for us here oh okay let me see uh so this is cute it's got like basically some matte colors can you guys see that there yeah so basically some greens a like creamy color um, I'm not sure if these are actually colors oh there goes the brush <laughs> I'm not sure if these are actually colors that I would honestly use like I mean they are really beautiful I I'm gonna try not to judge them I mean I don't know like I've never heard of no God, there goes another brush. I've never heard of Note before, but I'm definitely willing to give their shadows a shot. Also from Note, I wonder what this could be. Oh, this is their Matte Moist Lip Gloss in the shade Sugar Kiss. I like the name of the shade. It's creative. And, ooh, yes, this is my kind of color, honey. So... Ooh, look how beautiful that is. And let me just say, you guys, this, like, glided on super, super, super creamy. Love it. Mmm. I might want to put this on a little bit. It actually smells, I think it smells really good. Oh, it smells divine. Oh, my God, what do they put in here? Like, crap? This smells amazing uh so yeah note sugar kiss super bomb oh so there's also this little guy from Ciate. this is the fierce flicks liner it's all packaged up i'm not gonna like swatch it or anything because you know it's a liquid liner but i'm excited to try it for sure da -da -da! so essie sent over some goodies i've already peeked inside and i'm really excited to show you guys so first up is the essence lash princess false lash effect 
I mean, if they're gonna say that it's gonna give me false lashes, like, I'm in, I'm in. Like, what do I gotta do, you know? But look at this packaging, it's just so freaking cute. I love it. Then we've got this little guy, the Luminizer palette, and you can see here, uh, let me see if I can open it, aha. So basically it's like a little highlighting trio, which of course my camera is making it look super, super light, but I promise it's not. Um, I'll definitely do a video like trying out these products, you know, on like a full face kind of thing. Um, this next one is the Satin Touch Blush, and I'm wondering what it's going to look like, or sorry, it's called Satin Love. I'm wondering what it's going to look like on my complexion, I mean, maybe it'll look good, I don't know. It's more of like a mauve kind of color. Then we got this guy, this is their Mattifying Powder, which is interesting. Uh... It doesn't say anything about translucency or what kind of stuff. It's just supposed to neutralize things on their face. That's interesting as well. This is the Rock and Doll Eyeliner Pen. Lots of good liners. I'm digging it. I'm digging it. And then we've got this little guy. It's a little lipstick in the shade Vibrant Shock. Oh, oh, this is a big mama. This is a dark blue. It's almost black and I am digging it. This isn't a color I would normally wear but I, I, I could rock with this. I could definitely rock with this. Okay guys, so I'm gonna cut part one off right here just because there's like literally products all over my desk and uh, I'm hungry and I need to go eat something. <laughs> Hauling is uh, it's kind of tough, you know, but uh, yes, I will upload part two and I want to know your guys' thoughts. I want to know if you're excited. I want to know if you love this kind of stuff. Um, yeah, like put, put your comments in, put your comments in the comments, Jensine. Jeez, that's really creative. <laughs> but you know what I mean, right? Okay, so I love you guys and um, I hope you enjoyed part one. Don't forget to look out for part two and make sure you check out uh, these videos that I've got right here for you. And if you're not subscribed, please subscribe because you don't want to miss any more of this good stuff here. Um, Alright guys, I will see you in the next video.